Well, good morning, Hacksters. Today we have an interview with Ivan Holt, the winner of the Impact Prize for our Machine Money Empowering Devices with Wallets contest that we recently ran with IOTA. And Ivan, you built a project called the Distributed Health Record using IoT and IOTA. Is that right? Yeah, it's not a snappy title, but uh, it kind <laughs> of uh, uh, describes uh, what I ended up doing. Yeah. It's very descriptive. Can you tell us a little bit about the project? Uh, yeah, I was working with um, Laura Van uh, enabled microcontrollers uh, like a year ago, trying to make devices that could help in home care and uh, like medical uh, sensors. Uh, and uh, I think there's a, a huge uh, potential with the, the new low energy networks and low energy devices that are emerging. And um, so I was making some prototypes that could be used in uh, uh, home nursing and, and stuff like that and in hospitals. And then uh, about half a year ago, I, um, my, I was at work and my heart suddenly stopped just out of the blue uh, with no prior conditions or anything. Yeah. And um, my, uh, thankfully, I, some of my coworkers are nurses and doctors, and uh, they uh, knew what to do, and they revived me. And um, I ended up with an IoT device uh, implanted. So it's okay. a, um, a microcontroller with a battery and a wire into the heart. And uh, if uh, something... Uh, like what happened should happen again, it will give me a, a jolt and I'll hopefully come back to life uh, a yeah. bit quicker. I um, noticed that this device uh, reports uh, over the internet to the hospital. Uh, it will send a status report every uh, day, uh, not from the device directly itself, but uh, via a, a base station that I have at home. Oh. And um, so I got, I got uh, interested in, uh, firstly, the security of it, uh, yeah. how secure is this? Also, um, is there an API? Can, can I get the data myself? Yeah. Can you use it for something cool? That's what is the first <laughs> question. And, and I, of course, I, it became very personal and, and I started thinking of my own prototypes. How, how secure are they really? Uh, if someone got hold of uh, one of my my microcontrollers, uh, what could they extract from, from the flash memory? Uh, could they impersonate the device, use its uh, device IDs and, and stuff yeah. like that? So uh, this uh, led me on to the Azure Sphere uh, development kit and uh, that, that you have been promoting. So I wanted to, to have a look at this and see would this solve some of the problems that, uh, that I was becoming very uh, aware of. Uh, and also, uh, I noticed that the, the data that my, uh, it's called an ICD, what I have implanted there, uh, the data from this device is not available to other systems in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, and um, I, I work with the hospital uh, computer systems uh, professionally, and um, and I know that there are um, hundreds of different systems, and only some of them really talk together. And so you have a huge amount of different silos that may or may not talk together, and you have all the data, but maybe not available when you when you want to. Yeah, even inside the same hospital. And you mentioned also being able to share it between, like, if you go on vacation or on a trip or something, you know, those people might not have access to it either. Exactly. If if uh, if the data from this specific device is only available to one department inside the hospital, if, of course it won't be available to other uh, hospitals or uh, um, primary care uh, clinics, all the other uh, healthcare providers. And then, of course, you have all these consumer devices that mm -hmm. are emerging and started thinking, w where is all this data? Uh, up until now, maybe the data hasn't been totally relevant to, to healthcare, like a, a um, step counter won't uh, <laughs> tell you very much about your health. But... Uh, uh, I, I believe the uh, one of the newest uh, Apple Watches has an 
ECG that can tell you something about the heart. Yeah. And, uh, and this uh, specific, if I had used that watch, it might have uh, discovered uh, my the, the problem I would, that would happen. So, mm -hmm. uh, but this date, it's not going to a doctor um, in any automated way. Hmm. So uh, then I learn about uh, IOTA and distributed ledgers, and um, and these two things just clicked, and I, I, I thought it was would be a great idea to try to make a proof concept and see if you could make a device that would publish this data uh, to the uh, distributed ledger and uh, then be able to use the data yourself or share it with someone who has a need for it. And, uh, okay. and that's what I did, yeah. Mm. Your project write-up is incredibly comprehensive. I wanted to look at it really quick here. Um, just you you go into so much detail and really talk about what worked what didn't work your own story um why you chose the hardware that you chose and also uh you know beyond your experiences with building this particular project more about you know what you would do in the future things that you learned from it limitations of the technology and it's it's so clear that you put so much thought into it and you're really trying to share this so that everyone can build better devices uh, you link to this I am the cavalry group, which mm. is about medical device security, it looks mm. like. Yeah. Mm. So cool. Yeah. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of coding involved. There wasn't like a vast number of, uh, of uh, lines of code. But uh, as you say, there was a lot of thought uh, in, uh, put into it. And I don't believe I discovered the competition until a few weeks before the deadline mm. but um as i said i had I had been working with these kinds of uh, prototypes uh, for a while and um uh, discovering iota just really clicked and it became quite obvious how i would use it and uh, iota has an, uh, uh, some sdks that are really very well documented and, and easy to use so cool. that part was uh, not not too hard to do and uh, i hope that um, uh, people who want to see an example can can have a look at the code and uh, the description and uh, maybe try to use it for for other things because it's just telemetry you can use it for anything really you just need the uh, the ideas Right. And so you were already working on this. And at the end of your project, you have a whole section on like what the future of this would look like if it were if it were deployed throughout the world, like what the world could look like then. What does the future of this look like? I've started working on um, pushing it forward with uh, the next competition that you are hosting with um, securing everything, mm -hmm. uh, which is mostly about the uh, Azure Sphere uh, development environment. And yeah, um, yeah. working with um, some more interesting sensors. So these are click sensors and you can see yeah. them. But, uh, so this is an ECG that you put on your chest and it can um, read more interesting uh, characteristics about your heart and uh, more than just your pulse or heart rate. So uh, um, moving to more medically relevant sensors is, uh, is one thing I want to do. And also um, I got in touch with some of the IOTA people and they are uh, rebooting uh, this area of business, uh, medical realm. And um, they gave me some tips and hints to um, what they have done previously. And uh, so I'll, I'll move into something called uh, masked authenticated messaging, which is oh. something built on top of IOTA, which is, uh, you can think about it like MQTT maybe. Uh -huh. so you can, uh, some like a a hospital or another healthcare provider can subscribe to your data and uh, 
you will give them access if you want to, and uh, that will make them able to to uh, decrypt uh, information and pull your uh, that data into their systems. So oh. that uh, at least that's a, the plan. Uh, I saw that the uh, competition uh, deadline was moved ahead. Yeah, am I correct? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's uh, good to hear because. Uh, I'm working with the, on the um, Element 14 uh, competition too, so uh, it's quite a lot to, to do. Yeah, awesome. <clears throat> that's so exciting. And I love how you describe this as a patient-owned distributed health record. It is so, it, it seems so empowering for people who may be in a situation where it, it doesn't seem like you have a lot of power and ownership over your future. Exactly. Uh, in, uh, in my country, you are able to read your own uh, medical uh, records mm -hmm. in principle, uh, but there are so much that isn't available uh, because uh, it, it's so hard to integrate all these systems and uh, you should be able to read everything in practice if you can't uh, access right. everything. This is a way to try to uh, turn it all around and, and uh, think differently about it. Yeah, yeah, because even though, you know, just because it's said that you have the right to access this doesn't mean that you actually practically can do it. Hmm. Um, you've also shared the code for this on GitHub. I'm excited to see what other people might build with this. Uh, it sounds like you're continuing to work with IOTA on this. I'm Different just curious if projects you have... or... Yeah, is there anything else yeah. you're working on? Uh, yeah, um, um, so on the, um, the other, uh, the um, Element 14 uh, competition, uh, Sensing the World. Oh yeah. I'm building a uh, automated, uh, over-engineered, uh, <laughs> Fan to want watering system, and uh, that's why I have uh, oh. something not PCB green in my office. <laughs> uh. And um, so I'm um, pretty uh, printing and designing like enclosures. And uh, this is the Azure Sphere with some uh, clickety clock uh, board, yeah. and uh, that you have been uh, experimenting with, and. Um, Soil moisture uh, sensors huh? and um, uh, water pumps and uh, everything. So that's a bit more hands-on project and uh, a bit more scary with the uh, water and electronics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's so awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to mention before we wrap up here? No, I think uh, I think it's uh, it's really nice to uh, to uh, have a reach out in the, the community and uh, I uh, really enjoy both the competitions, they are engaging and uh, seeing all the, the content yeah, that you are putting out. So um, there are um, a lot of uh, future uh, projects that I have uh, discovered through your videos. With, uh, awesome. And but we know nanos are really cool and the chirp, I've been experimenting with those already. And, uh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, I'm really curious to see what people are going to do with that. Yeah. <laughs> if people want to follow your work, they can follow you on Hackster, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. But is there anywhere else that you would like to share your work? I uh, put some pictures out of my projects on my Instagram. My uh, uh, handle is uh, Ive. Holt on Instagram. And, uh, cool. As always, uh, everyone, you can find the links to this project, to the contest, and more in the description to this video. Thank you so much, Ivan. This is awesome. I love your project. Ah, and I love Thank the way you that you think about you. it and your motivations. Yeah. Ciao. Bye.